Hi there. Okay, so I'm sitting in a car at the moment waiting for someone to meet up with somebody and uh, uh, so I'm going to do a quick recording of how to wrap up a Rubik's Cube because I've manufactured a Rubik's Cube and I found an old, oops, an old 4N placemat and I'm going to use this to wrap up this Rubik's Cube uh, and show you how you can do wrapping. So the key thing here is that you need to make sure that the paper is the right size for the thing you're wrapping up because if it's too big it gets, just gets in the way uh, and you want it to be about kind of half the width of the, of the object that way. Um, I mean a bit more is fine, even a whole width is okay. But anything more than a whole width it becomes a real real problem um, to, to wrap it up. So and the best way to do that a lot of the time, especially if you've got a big thing, is to, is to put it down on a piece of paper like that and then do one, two, three. It works out how long it needs to be. So actually this one's a little bit too long. Uh, and then do the other thing the other way as well. And so hold it at the back of the piece of paper like this and then sort of roll it one, two, like that. And then cut along that that line there because you know, that's the that's the back of it, that's the bottom of it, and then that's the top of it. So you can see, see that if you wrap it like that, you've got a little bit extra over here. You need to cut that little extra bit off there. Um, and the same sort of thing if you went around this way, because it's got a it's got to overlap the other way. It's got to overlap slightly. So you need that little overlap. But you don't want it too much of overlap. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to fold it so that it fits the right shape rather than cut it. Um, and then I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I folded it now. So now you can see that if I put the, the Rubik's cube like that and then wrap a piece of paper around, you can see that sideways it doesn't quite come up halfway on there. It's about right, uh, which means that it'll be just over halfway when you're wrapping it like that. And then long, longwise, wrap it all the way around like this and you can see that it wraps quite nicely around there. So that's what we're going to do. We start with that. So we wrap the paper around and what we want to do is, is make sure you've got a flat piece like this on the top here and then kind of tug the paper so it's all tight and then wrap that bit over the top and then what we'd normally do is you put tape obviously there and hold that at this point um, and then what we're doing is we're taking the, 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 the bit that's got the fold on it which is this end here and folding it down like that and um, this is where you need to make sure that that's why the, the paper you need to have a little bit of gap you see how when you fold that down there's a little bit of the edge doesn't doesn't reach the edge which is perfect, that's exactly what you want, because that makes it really easy then to uh, put your finger down there and then, so we get this little edge like this, and then do the same thing over this side, so we put the finger down that side, and then you just, just go along that corner, so then we've got, uh, I can't how to show that, so yeah, so we've got like little edges like that, like that, um, and then you can pull those two edges in, and then again, fold it flat down to the bottom and then fold this other corner in like this and then it folds flat down to the bottom there as well and then you've got a little tag at the end there like that now you can, there's two, two or three things you can do with this depending on what you've got package wise um, sometimes you can uh, fold that little edge in there like that make a nice little and then that becomes a pointy corner there and the other thing you can also do is you can fold that down slightly and it makes it a little flat edge when you roll it up. And then that should then flap up so that, that end is all perfect like that. Ah, obviously the paper doesn't indicate it very well. I'll do another video another time. But So that's that basically done. And then you obviously tape that. And then you turn it around and do the same thing on the other end here. So you take the, the broken end here and then push it in like that. Um, and then you use your, you make sure that that piece of paper has gone all the way flat into that corner there. And then fold that corner down so it's a real edge there and the same thing over here so you're flapping it right in there and then get that edge there and then you can fold those in and that's how you get those kind of neat edges and then you've got again you've got this kind of bottom bit here which depending on how you cut your piece of paper can be you know a bit of a, an odd shape so I always find the easiest way to do it is what I did on the other side which was just to fold it flat there make sure you've got a nice little edge like that and then fold that up and there you have an almost perfectly packaged present. Um, we've got the edges are kind of this rectangle, obviously if you have a bit more care over it you can get all those lining up perfectly and then you've got a little sort of flat edge along here where you can put the tape along there and the same at the other end. Um, there you go. It's got a nice little edge straight there and edge straight there and this little flap which folds up and it's got a little line there. So that's it. Good, five minutes, that was it. Um, enjoy that um, and uh, good luck wrapping up your next present.